Hey guys, it's the Zuzu Pet King here, and today I am going to teach you how to fix the Zuzu Pet's back button. As you can see, my Zuzu Pet here, his back button is not working at all. I said the button won't activate because it's completely stuck. But here, I'm going to show you how to fix it. This video is mostly for my acquaintance on YouTube, Logan Kelly. I saw that he had a couple of Zuzu Pets that needed to be fixed because the back buttons were broken. So I'm going to teach you how to fix that. And also... Yes, this is my real voice, okay? I apologize for sounding like a five-year-old. I should have warned you guys at first. But anyways, let's get on to it. So first off, you're going to need a screwdriver. And you're going to have to unscrew the motor. I'm sure all of you know how to do that. But just in case if you don't know, just twist to the right. And then the motor will come loose. I think that's loose enough. There we go. And you're also going to have to take the batteries out because you don't want to ruin the Zuzu Pet. The batteries may cause problems while you're trying to fix it. Okay. Now you see these little screws there? You're going to have to unscrew those. So what you're going to have to do is unscrew this little screw here. You're going to have to twist to the right like you unscrew a motor. Alright, looks like that's unscrewed. Let's take this out. There we go. And you're gonna have to be responsible to this one. You're gonna have to keep track of it while you fix it. And then for the next one, all you have to do is just basically do the same thing. Just twist to the right, and then it'll unscrew. I'm sorry if this is a bad angle. Again, I do not have my tripod with me. So I'm have to, I have to use something else to hold my phone while I'm doing this. Yeah, as you can see, it's unscrewing. Screw it. I'm not taking it out. It's going to take forever. I mean, as long as it's loose enough, you can just, you know. All right, now what you're going to have to do is just take this. You have to be really, really, really careful with it. As you can see, there is a wire. Do not pull out this wire because it'll mess up the Zuzu Pet and it'll stop working. Now, I'm looking closely. You can see the back button right there. As you can see, it's jammed in. And what you're going to have to do is just gently press it in. Just gently press it in. Be careful of the wire. You don't want to break it or rip it out because your Zuzu Pet will stop working. There you go, all right, so that's fixed. And as you can see, at the nose button, somehow it just came out. And just gently be careful of the wire, do not rip it out. And just gently put the nose button back in here. There you go. Just find the pink hole and then just stick it through there. All right, now we can put the motor back on. Just gently put it on here. Oh my god. Okay. There we go. Now that that's taken care of, what you're going to have to do is just screw this little screw back in. Just twist to the left this time to tighten it. Okay, next screw. Do the same thing. All you have to do is just basically do the same thing, just tighten it down. Twist to the left, like I said. Make sure it's tightened. And you're gonna want you're gonna want to make sure if the battery box is pushed in all the way. Make sure it doesn't like click or anything. Like when I'm pulling on it now, it's completely tightened. Place the batteries in. Batteries back in here. Does it still work? Yes, it does. And then put the motor back on. And then all there is left is 
tighten it. Now, for the moment of truth, does it work? <coughs> yes, it does. Success. <coughs> so there you have it, guys. That's how you fix the ZZ Pets back button. Logan, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned so much from it, and I hope you fixed your ZZ Pets from this. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the ZZ Pet King signing off, and I'll see you guys next time.